In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your wireless or wired Xbox 360 controller to your Windows PC. If you're using a wireless controller, you're going to have to get one of these Xbox 360 wireless gaming receivers. Now you can get the official Microsoft one like this, or you can buy a generic one like this one. If you're using a wired controller, you're going to have to get an adapter like this one. So this is the Xbox 360 tip. This cannot connect to the computer, but if you have the adapter, this simply plugs in and then plugs in via USB to your computer. Now for the setup. If you go to the Xbox support website, there's a really good page here that describes exactly how to connect any version of the controller on any version of the Windows PC. I'm going to walk you through this and I'll leave the link in the description. If you have the wired controller, this is what you have to do. If you're on a Windows 10, all you have to do is plug in the Xbox 360 controller and then Windows will automatically install the drivers and then it will notify you that it's ready to go and ready to use. So I'll demonstrate to you by opening up the device manager. So if you right click on the Windows symbol and go up here to device manager, you'll see all of your peripherals and devices here. Now, when I connect my wired controller, you'll see that Windows recognizes it. It shows up here as an Xbox 360 peripheral. It says that it's setting up the device. And then once it's done, it'll notify me that it's ready to use. There we go. So device setup complete. It recognizes it and now I can start using it. If you have a wired controller and you're running Windows 7, 8 or 8.1, it's likely that you can also just plug in your controller on the USB and the computer should recognize it and start installing the drivers right away. Once it's done, you can go to the device manager and make sure that it has been installed. If you have a wired controller and you plugged it into your computer and for whatever reason it did not install the drivers automatically, what you can do is go to this link here, which brings you to the Xbox 360 controller webpage and down to the right here, there's a download section. And I'm going to demonstrate from Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. They all use the same driver, which is the Windows 7 driver. And I'm running 64-bit, so make sure you select the correct bit, the same bit rate that you have your Windows installed. Select a language, and then click on the link down here to download the installer. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to right-click on it, go into Properties, then Compatibility, and down here in this section, you're going to want to go run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7, then hit OK. Then you're going to double click it, run it, click Yes. You're going to hit the Accept the Agreement, Next. It'll install all the files. There might be a .NET or something that also has to install, so install that as well. Click the Finish button. If when you go into your device manager and it's still not there, then try restarting your computer and unplugging and replugging in your controller. And hopefully the computer will now recognize the device and start installing the driver. Now for Windows 7, it should be the exact same as well. When you plug in the controller, if it doesn't already install and show up in your device manager, then you're going to have to do the same steps that I showed you for Windows 8 and 8.1, only you don't have to run the compatibility mode for Windows 7 because it is Windows 7. Once your wireless receiver is connected and recognized in Windows, all you have to do is push the little button in the middle and hold it down until the little green light flashes. Then you go to your wireless controller, you hold down the Xbox button, it'll start flashing. This means that it's trying to connect to a receiver. 
It should connect automatically. Once the devices are paired, it'll select which controller it'll be. Right now it's on controller one. If it does not connect automatically, you'll have to click this little button at the very top of the controller. You might have to hold that down as well. Once everything is connected, uh, Windows will automatically install a bunch of drivers as you've seen and it'll display that it's all completed. If you want to test your controller without having to go into a game, then all you have to do is go into your settings, into devices, under Bluetooth and other devices on the right hand side, click on devices and printers, find your controller in the list, right click on that device, click on game controller settings, and here find the controller you're trying to uh, test, click on properties, then go ahead and test the controller, look for all of these different buttons to work, and there you go. If you have a wireless controller and you're setting it up on Windows 7, 8 or 8.1, it's likely again that if you just plug in the device, Windows should recognize all of the parts and should start installing the drivers automatically. You can see it's recognized the receiver, it's recognized the controller, and it's recognized that it has the audio input for the headset. Now when you go into devices, you can see that it's there. If you want to test on Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 to see if the controller works and is connected, click on the Windows button, search for joy.cpl, and this is what it looks like. You open this up, you could see that it recognizes the wireless device. Click on properties, and here you can begin testing. So now you can take your controller, you can move all the joysticks, make sure that works, make sure the trigger joys work, all the different buttons work, etc, etc. You can see that this one works just fine.